Can you believe? Can you believe somebody stole my truck? Well, technically it was still my truck. I had bought this 2001 classic XL Freightliner. And I had just bought the thing last week. Truck that I had always wanted. Finally had it, 60 Series Detroit. It was a, it was a nice truck. But uh, I was at the mechanic getting the DOT inspection done on it before I put it on the road. And while it's there, this man, he comes around and he's talking to me and asking me different questions about the truck. And uh, next thing I know, he made me an offer to buy it. So I told him to go get his money. He came back, we did the deal. He had a guy come later that day to pick it up and drive it down to uh, Forest Park, Georgia. And I guess, you know, that's where he parks his trucks and was, was going to add it on with with his small fleet that he's building. He calls me up this morning about 7.30 and he's just kind of pissed off and freaked out at the same time because someone stole the truck overnight. Stole it right off of his property while he was in bed asleep. And uh, he had the Forest Park Police Department there and everything and he hadn't even had a chance to get the title registered. He hadn't had a chance to get his insurance coverage on the vehicle. I mean, he had literally just driven it from here in Knoxville down to Forest Park, Georgia, parked it for the night, and was going to start, you know, the whole process of getting it ready to put on the road today. And overnight, thieves went into that lot and stole his truck. I, I feel horrible, absolutely horrible about it. There's nothing I can do about it. But technically, according to the police officers, it was technically still my truck since he had never gotten you know, anything done with it. I disagree with that. He, he's got a signed bill of sale, so I think it ain't my truck. And my insurance isn't gonna isn't gonna cover it because you know we'd cancel the insurance on it whenever we made the sale. So you know, I feel horrible about it. But I mean, I never knew people stole eighteen wheelers. I mean, I it would probably be the furthest thing from my mind. But apparently, it's a thing. And talking to that police officer in Forest Park. Uh, there are times that things like this go on more frequently than others. Case in point, I think it was yesterday or the day before, down around Fort Myers, Florida, state troopers stopped these two guys in a Cascadia Freightliner, their bobtail, and they wound up arresting them. They had probably 50 different types of credit cards on them, all with different names. They had welded up and added on to the truck uh, illegal fuel tanks so that whenever they're filling up the regular fuel tanks on the truck, they have these additional fuel tanks that they can fill up as well and they're paying for all this fuel with stolen credit cards so uh, apparently thieves are not only stealing trucks but they're modifying these trucks at least for the short term to use to steal diesel I guess so they can sell it on the black market and my guess is you know this was a this was a sharp looking well I mean I say sharp looking. This is a very nice looking Freightliner Classic XL. It wasn't, you know, show truck or anything like that, but for 2001, it was in pretty pretty good shape. And uh, 
maybe about 300,000 miles on the engine rebuild. And the only thing it didn't have that I wanted was I wanted to have like a 13, 15, or 18 speed, but all I had was a nine. But, you know, for, for the price I paid for it, it was a bargain. But anyway, I, uh, I just wanted to share that with you. you know, apparently nationwide, given what fuel prices are today and where truck prices are, apparently this is a thing. And apparently the, the older trucks are not excluded from it. You know, this is a 21-year-old truck and almost 22-year-old truck. And man, that's just, I think it's just awful, but it happens. So, you know, when you're on the road, be aware of what's going on around you. If you see something suspicious, please let management at a truck stop know about it. You know, even if you're wrong, it's better to be wrong and err on the side of caution than it is to not say anything at all and not only cost that business hundreds, possibly even thousands of dollars, but you're costing individuals, you know, that have their credit cards stolen, could be costing them, Lord only knows what. I mean, you know, the, the credit card company isn't going to hold them responsible, but what impact did not having that credit card have on them? How did it affect their lives? But, you know, it's just about being a decent person and, 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 and doing what you think is right. So, you know, if you see something, say something. But anyway, you guys get you some of those protection locks to put over your your uh, air brake valves and just keep your eyes open, be aware, keep your doors locked. You know, keep your saddlebags locked, things like that. And let's try to limit these guys' capability. You know, if you've got dash cams, great. Maybe you can record something. But I would suggest, I know me personally, my dash cam has Wi-Fi. And I know that Android, probably Apple too, has the capability to automatically back up your photos and videos to the cloud. So I'm going to set up my dash cam to record to my phone and automatically be backed up to the cloud rather than just relying on it recording on that little micro SD card and then get recorded over later on. I think I'd rather have both. So if you can, you might consider doing something like that so that you have a backup because your camera may have evidence that could help catch some of these guys. But anyway, just food for thought. You know, don't mean to be such a downer, but I want I want people to be aware and be alert. Keep your eyes open. You know, if you can help out your your your, your fellow trucker, you know, these owner operators, uh, please by all means do so because it's their livelihood. That's my livelihood. So anyway, see you down the road. Bye.